How and why does the EU add insects to food? In January 2023, the European Food Safety Authority EFSA, legalized eating insects, worms, and crickets. They'll be eaten in dried, powdered, or paste form. Food processors will add insects to flour, meat, protein bars, and biscuits. It seems that the Europeans were so imbued with programs about nature that they began to eat crickets. But let's look into the topic in more detail together. This is Proxima. We're starting. What does this mean for ordinary citizens? New products with the addition of certain types of insects will appear on supermarket shelves. Don't be afraid. They'll be pre-treated already in powder or paste form. There will be a special label on the packaging of products with insects and a separate warning for allergy sufferers in the contents. But what does it all mean? Is this a global reorientation of the market? A global conspiracy or a desire to tell people what to eat? Let's deal with the official position of the EU. They say that eating insects is healthy, and so it's not disgusting to eat them. They'll be made in a powder or paste form, or even in an inconspicuous for consumption form. Insects are a source of protein, trace elements, and fatty acids. In general, 65% of people in the world eat insects. Thus, adding insects to the diet should reduce the amount of meat on a person's plate. They also say that this is a very effective way to combat global warming. After all, livestock farms emit a lot more carbon dioxide than insect production. Let's look at the situation from all sides. If everything is as perfect as in a high-budget film, can this be beneficial to someone? For example, AG Funder, a market research company, claims that the capital of insect growers has reached 45 million euros and successfully sells crickets and locusts around the world. Question arises, how is it possible to achieve such results in such a short time? Yeah, it's weird, but justified. If eating insects is not popular in Europe, then in China and other Asian countries, it's a necessity. This explains such high prices for food with insects in Europe. You have to pay more than $10 for 500 grams of mealworms, and for 40 crickets, $3.50. Greta Thunberg would support the EU insect initiative, but have we gotten to the bottom of it enough? The EU says farming with beetles and worms will reduce carbon emissions. But in fact, ordinary agriculture pollutes the air less than America's factories, transport, and launching rockets into space. The legalization of insects and in food is Don Quixote's famous fight with windmills. It's a useless thing. The EU cares not only about the climate and other problems with insects, but also about the shortage of food in the world. According to the UN data, 124 million people on the planet suffer from hunger. The population is increasing at an incredible rate, and the introduction of insects and beetles into the diet is a vital measure to avoid massive food shortages. What are the benefits of introducing insects into foods? First, a real reduction in meat in the diet. This is very beneficial for the body, as it reduces the heaviness in the stomach, more energy appears, and metabolism improves. Second, beetle farms do not negatively impact the environment. Third, expanding the market and building international relations, because selling food on the one hand and buying it on the other is a global relationship. What do you think? Is this a necessary measure? And will you eat food with insects? Write us a comment. We're grateful for your likes and support because you make the content popular.